Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams and I want to talk to you today a little bit more about this concept of ABC costing. So, let's get started. So, what we know is that Wanda has been so successful in producing and selling high quality dog to chew toys that she's going to branch out and open a doggy day spa. So, she wants to make sure that she's charging her customers the correct price and ABC costing really lets us do that effectively. So what we've collected here is her salaries that she pays all of her um, doggy employees. So we know that the technicians, the spa manager, and the assistant manager make these three amounts respectively. So all the other costs are just generally cost of doing business. I can't attribute those to a specific customer. And so they're just going to like sit out there and eventually they would actually become overhead. So what we're going to do is we are going to allocate these salary costs by the activity that they are driven by. That makes any sense. I think it will because let me show you what the next thing that she did was. We know how much each one of her employees makes, but what we've got to do is we've got to look at the activities, the A part of ABC because the C was her salaries and now what I've got are her A's, her activities. And so we either spend time booking appointments, doing puppy pedicures, tummy rubbing, and then other activities that could be anything. I mean, you can see that your, your managers spend a lot of time doing other stuff, which could be accounting, bookkeeping, personnel. What we know is we have to account for 100% of their time. So these are the activities right, that they engage in. And so now we've got to look and say, well, what is the basis, right? The activity-based costing. And what we know is that we spent two, we had 215 appointments, 45,500 puppy pedicures. Remember, they've got four feet, right? And 1,050 tummy rubs. So we know that these activities up here are now linked down here to the total activity at the spa for this period. And now what I'm going to end up doing is taking that salary base that I had up at, on the first screen, I'm going to allocate it according to what percentage of time they actually use or actually do these various activities and then allocate it per activity. And to do that, I'm going to use Excel because it is so darn good at math. All right, so remember I told you that I had salaries and then I was going to distribute the employee time across the activities and then end up dividing it by the total activities at the spa. So all I've done is take all those figures that I had at the beginning and I've now just dumped them into Excel and I'm going to let Excel do the math for me. Okay, so we said that we were going to take and distribute the employee time across activities. So if I start here with booking appointments, I know that the spa technician of the $149,000 that they spend 0% of their time. I'm just multiplying this amount by this amount. And I'm going to say enter. I know there's an easier way to do it, but I want to show you this step by step. So I'm going to say, all right, so 
What percentage then of the spa technician's salary do they spend on puppy pedicures? 69%. Whoa, I could reformat that cell. Um, let me run up and do that real quick. Be right back. Okay, that's better. All right, so now I want to say what percentage of that $149,000 what percentage of that $149,000 do they spend tummy rubbing? So I'm going to take $149,000 times 16% gives me $23,840. Well, what percentage of that $149,000 do they spend doing other? And so I multiply the $149 times the 15%. And what I know is I need to account for 100% of that doggy technician salary. So what I'm hoping is is that this equals so 100% there 149. So now what I'm going to end up doing is simply doing it with the assistant manager's salary and the spa manager by simply taking the salary times the percentage of time they spend in the activity all the way through the chart. All right, so while you were away or while I was away, what, we, what I did was I finished up taking the salary here times the percentage of time that was spent on the activity to distribute the employee time across activities. So now what I need to do is I need to total up what the total cost is for each of the three activities I'm interested in, which are booking appointments, puppy pedicures, and tubby run, tummy rubbing. So I'm going to just add these together. And I know that that's going to be that 7,400. And here I'm going to use that equal sum. And I know I'm doing this a long way, but I want everyone to see all of my steps. And then I want that. Now, what I also know is that this is just like any other matrix where all of the numbers have to add up. So I know that all of the, this, 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 and this has to equal 312. This, this, and this has to equal 312. I have to account, account for 100% of my costs. So booking appointments cost me $7,400 total. Ooh, let me make that bigger. There we go. That's easier to see. I know that puppy pedicures cost me $110,210 in the cost of my employees, and I know that tummy rubbing is $56,140. So now what I've got to do is I've got total cost, now I need total activity. Total activity is over here. So I know I had 215 appointments, I had 45500 puppy pedicures, that's probably per toenail, I guess, and 1,050 tummy rubs. So activity rate is found by taking total cost divided by total activity gives me activity rate. So I'm simply going to divide total cost divided by total activity gives me activity rate. So here I'm going to do the same thing. Total cost divided by total activity gives me activity rate. And lastly, I know that tubby, tubby, tummy rubbing is 56,140. And if I did 1,050 of those, that it's actually $53.47 per tummy rub in cost. What I can do with these figures right here is now that I know 
how much it costs me, or Wanda knows how much it costs to book an appointment, then we know that at a minimum, we want to charge $35 just to walk in the door because we've got to at least cover that high dollar assistant spa manager salary. We also know that we don't want to charge any less than $53.47 for a tummy rubbing because then that gives us nothing to cover rent, depreciation, those types of things. So with activity-based costing, we're able to take and distribute our costs across activities, then based on the number of those activities we engage in, figure out what the rate is per activity. So um, I hope you, if you have a puppy, that you'll consider coming to Wanda's Puppy Day Spa and that I have helped you better understand activity-based costing. Have a great day.